Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make this plush, really cute axolotl. Um, so if you want to find out how to make this, then keep watching. Okay, so we need two colours of yarn of your choice. I'm using light pink for the body and then a dark pink for the detailing. A six millimeter crochet hook. You'll need some scissors, black yarn to add a smile. I'm using 12 millimeter safety eyes. You'll need a stitch marker and also a darning needle. Start off, we'll be making the head and the body. So you want to take your lighter colour or whatever colour you want the head and body to be. And we're going to make a magic circle and single crochet six into that magic circle. Once you've made the magic circle and the six single crochets, you're going to pull the tail and close it. We're going to be working in a spiral as well, which means we won't join our rounds. We're just going to keep working into the next round. So round two, we're going to do two double crochets in each stitch. So basically a increase in each stitch. And then you'll want to use your stitch marker so you know where the end is okay so we've done the second round so there's now 12 stitches on the third round we're going to do one single crochet and then an increase all around so we're going to single crochet in the first stitch place your stitch marker and then we're going to do an increase increase in the next stitch. So we've got single crochet, increase, and you're going to repeat this around the whole row. So we've done the third round. You're ending on a increase. So round four, we are going to do two single crochets and then an increase. So one, two, just add my stitch marker into the first stitch that we just made. And then we're going to do an increase. So it'll be two single crochets increase all around. On the fifth row, we're going to do three single crochets and then an increase. And repeat that all around. So after the fifth row, it will start to look like this. So you can see it's starting to have a curve to it. Once we've got five rows, so there's three increases, we're going to do two rows of single crochet all around. So you're just going to single crochet into each stitch. And do this for two rows. two rows of single crochet it will look like this so you can see it's really starting to curve now we're now going to do a decrease so the same way we did three rows of increasing we're going to do three rows of decreasing so uh, the first row of decrease we're going to single crochet three so one two three Remember to place your stitch marker on the first stitch of the row, so it'd be the first of the three. And then we're going to do an invisible decrease. So you're going to pull up the front loop only of the next stitch, then go and turn your hook 
and pull up the front loop of the second stitch. So now there's three on the hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through those first two. And then you've got two on the hook and you're going to yarn over and pull through the next two. And that is how you do an invisible decrease. So that's gonna be how we do all of our decreases. So you're going to do another three single crochets and decrease again. And you're just gonna repeat this around the whole row. So again, pick up the front loop, pick up the second loop, pull through the first two, and then pull through the first two again. And just keep repeating that. One, two, three. And then the invisible decrease. On the ninth row, we're going to do two single crochets and then decrease. And we're going to do the decrease exactly how we did on the last row. And repeat that all around. Row number 10, we're going to do one single crochet and then decrease and repeat that all around. And that is how the head will look. You've got a small hole here. So we are now going to add the eyes and do the stuffing. So the eyes have been added between rows six and seven and there's about six stitches in between. And we're going to add the little smile now. Okay, so we're gonna add the smile now. So I start by going underneath and pulling my yarn through the top. And I've left about a stitch between my yarn and the eye. I'm going to go over around about three stitches and put my yarn through the stitch and then bring it up on the row beneath in the middle. So it creates a line at the top and then your yarn will come out around about in the middle of that line. You want to go underneath the line and then go back into that stitch. And this just creates a nice V shape for the smile. And then what I do is just pull each bits of the yarn and then I'll tie them underneath so nothing comes undone. going to do six decreases for the next row. to do now is do a row of increases to bring the body out so it does get a bit fiddly just because it's quite small but we're going to do six increases so we'll be back up to 12 stitches For the next row, we're going to do one single crochet increase. So one single crochet and then increase in the next stitch.
and repeat that all around. Now we're going to do three rows of just single crochet all around. Okay, so we've now done three rows of single crochet. You want to start to stuff the body, making sure you stuff the neck so that the head doesn't go floppy. So it should look something like this. And we're going to do our decrease again, just to close off the body. So we're going to do one single crochet decrease on the next row. the final row of the body we're going to do six decreases there's a tiny hole as well so I'm just going to fill that up with stuffing Once you finish stuffing, we're going to get our darning needle and just close the hole. So in the same colour as the body, we're going to do a magic ring and we're going to do four single crochets into the ring. So one, two, three and four. And we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch. And then in the second stitch, we're going to do an increase. For the next row, so row three, we're going to do one single crochet, two single crochet, and then an increase. For the fourth row, we're going to do three single crochets and an increase. For the fifth row, we're just going to do single crochet all around. You just want to fasten off and leave a long tail just to sew the tail onto the body. Before we sew the tail on, we're just going to stuff it slightly just so that it holds its shape when it's on the body and we're going to put it directly underneath the bottom and you want to start from the back and we're just going to sew it on body done okay so to make the arms and legs we're going to do them all the exact same so you're going to do a magic ring and single crochet six into the magic ring
and then we're going to single crochet around once and then fasten off and make sure to leave a long tail so we can sew it on to the body. So we've now got our four arms and legs, or two arms, two legs. We're going to attach them to the body. So with these, I am not going to stuff them. Um, I'm just going to use the end of the yarn that we used to start. And what I do is just attach it to the body so I'll probably do it about two rows on the second row below the head pull through just so you can see where it's going to be and then you want to sew it on so we're just going to sew it Once that's been attached, you want to repeat it on the other side. We're going to attach the legs, I'd say probably about two rows up from the tail. And you're going to attach them the exact same as you did the arms. We're going to start off with our darker yarn. So we're going to do a magic ring and single crochet six. And then we're just going to do three rows of single crochet all the way around. Okay, so once you've done your three rows of single crochet, it will look something like this. We're now going to just single crochet the edge together just to close it so I'm doing about three single crochets along the edge and that's fine and then you just want to fasten off and leave a towel for sewing so it should look something like this with the edge closed so you want to make six of these now now made six gills so there'll be three on each side of the head before we attach them i'm going to do the tail detailing chain 14. we are going to single crochet into the second chain from hook then in the next stitch we are going to do a double crochet so that's when you yarn over insert your hook yarn over three loops on hook pull through the first two and then pull through the last two we're going to repeat this again into that same stitch and then we're going to do a slip stitch in the next stitch slip stitch then another slip stitch in the following stitch and that is your first little ruffle and we're going to repeat that so we're going to do another two double crochets into one stitch and then we will do two slip stitches so one slip stitch and then another slip stitch in the following stitch and you want to repeat that until the end of the row. For some reason, the camera stopped recording, but what I just did was I sewed on the ruffles and you just want to make sure that there's two ruffles on each side. And then once you've sewn them on, that is literally your axolotl complete. Axolotl. 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 Axolotl.